What is up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. It's another great day in Dodge City, Kansas. Lots going on. Work has been busy. I'm not hunting or fishing today. I kind of wish I was fishing, but I'm going to have to hold that off for a couple more days because I'm just busy. Um, What's going on today? I'm getting two new garage door openers in my garage. I don't know what the deal is. The last two, they're like cheap Home Depot brand something. And they just, they don't work worth a darn. I feel like we're just sitting out in the driveway and we're just pushing the button. And you have to either, sometimes you have to hold it. Other times you just got to boop. Other times you have to hit it like 87 times in order for the door to work. Other times the door just never works. So you got to do the run into the garage, push the button, run out, and like somehow jump over a laser beam and not get hit by the door so the door will close. So I just finally got tired of it. I called Overhead Door. They're installing two brand new Overhead Door branded uh, garage door openers, and I'm super excited. It'll just make life easier. And then we got our new furniture here, our new couch, and we had this really nice recliner. It was only a couple months old. It was a sweet recliner. I loved it, comfortable. I loved it. But we realized with this couch, it has three recliners in it. It's really pretty comfortable. And a lady reached out to me and her son, who's like, I don't, he's like my age probably. Um, he's got stage four bone cancer and he needed something comfortable to sit in. He basically, there's no more treatment that they can do for him. And so it was just kind of a heartbreaking deal. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to give them this really cool, nice, comfortable uh, recliner. And so that's what we did. We we gave it to them and um, we, we delivered it. I got to meet the guy and yeah, he was super excited. He's just going to be able to just be comfortable. So anyway, it went to a good place. And then me and Amy, were headed to Kansas City later today for a couple days. We're going to look for some new furniture. We need to replace that recliner with just something else that will work. And then we moved our piano over here. We're gonna get some chairs, maybe one or two that go on either side of that. So um, the one that we have now, it's 20 some years old and we basically took it from the country club when we used to work there because they were gonna throw it in the trash. So. Yeah, it's time for some new furniture. So that's what we're gonna do. So I got a bunch of stuff I gotta get done today. Um, and then we're gonna get on the road, head to Kansas City. I'm excited because that means I got a good dinner coming. Uh, I like to eat at some different places and get some good food and usually the bigger cities have more to choose from. So anyway, hang around. I hope today's awesome wherever you're at. Um, and we'll see what kind of adventure we get ourselves into. Well, we made it to Kansas City. We've already been to Cabela's. Good little trip. That's pretty much standard. We got some duck stuff, some hunting stuff, some fishing stuff. And now we're headed to Nebraska Furniture Mart. We've got about six hours, seven hours of shopping, and then we gotta be in Manhattan tonight for dinner. So we're gonna move fast. <laughs> City. I know you probably didn't see a whole lot, just some clips here and there, but I tried to really be present um, and in the moment. And sometimes you gotta do that. And when you're sticking a camera in someone's face or you always got one in front of you, you miss out on all the little stuff. Overall, it was a good weekend. This is kind of what we ended up with right here. 
Yeah, mama got some new chairs. We got a new rug. And then over here, it's kind of dark. We got a new kind of leather recliner that fits with this couch better. Today, I'm gonna go back out and I'm gonna look for a pickup because I looked a little bit in Kansas City and that was even more depressing. We went to a dealership that we've bought from before and they literally had one brand new diesel pickup on the lot. It was not, that was not good. So I'm gonna look again this morning and there's a couple trade-ins that came in last week that I've been waiting to see. Um, so I'm gonna go take a look at those, maybe test drive them. And then later today, I think I'm gonna get the dinghy back on the water and we're gonna go uh, try to find some white bass. So. We'll just see what happens today. Hope you guys are doing well. It's kind of a three day video here, just chopped it up. But um, anyway, that's just the way it is. So stick around, let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, well, hey, we made it back. I went and test drove two different diesel pickups. There's no selection. And so I'm gonna stick it out for a while and just see if anything new comes in. Not a lot going on. Not a very exciting video, but hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, I tried. It was a it was a whirlwind couple of days, moving a lot, just driving, spending some time on the road. But it was fun. Enjoyed it, and now uh, we're we're back home and we're back to normal. No new pickup. That'll come another day. So uh, life is still great. Not complaining by any means. So anyway, phones ringing. I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys on the next one.